This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning! It's bright and early, and one of the only things that I will wake up this early for is the Nashville flea market. It has literally been over a year since I have been to the flea market and also that the flea market has been open here in Nashville. It's completely outside now. I think the days are shorter and they've cut down the number of days they're doing, but I'm hoping that the finds are going to be just as epic. I'm going to be meeting my friend Jess, which you guys have met. We went to the Goodwill Warehouse sale together. We also went to the flea market together last time. She is a super thrifter bargain hunter. She's just the best person to go to a flea market with. So I'm excited to see what they have. I brought my big bag and I'm hoping that I fill this baby up maybe with some new homewares for my new house, some clothes. I don't know. You never know at the flea market, which is what I love about it. So let's head on into the flea market and see if we can find Jess. I see so many clothing racks. I'm so excited to dig into all of these vintage t-shirts over here. If you're looking for vintage tees in Nashville at a good price, this is the spot. Last time we saw her, she was almost about to give birth and now she has the cutest little baby ever. And she's already finding so many good things. I love that. Oh my gosh, wait, it has like safari animals on it. It's cute. It is cute. Here's another 70s number. I love the color scheme and pattern of this one, but it doesn't have a price tag, so I wonder what he felt to me for. I'm gonna try it on, see if it fits. All right, I feel like this was made for a child. Like, I don't have long arms, and look at it. It's like so short on my arms. That is so cute! Somebody definitely made this. Look at that, there's little 3D. Like, there's two shirts? Oh my gosh, we could be twins. Twinning! It's so cute! How much does he want, 40? It's cute, but I feel like that's kind of overpriced yeah. for the flea market. I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of like if I can go online and find it for that much, then I feel like if I'm not getting as good of a deal at the flea market. You know what I mean? Yeah, his items are not pricey. I love this guy's booth. Look at all these amazing mid-century paintings. There's so much good rattan and stuff. I love this painting of this woman. Look at her. These little side tables. So much good stuff. I'm looking for some quilts I can do projects with, and she wants 45 for this one, which it's gorgeous. I really love all of the colors and everything, but it is pretty tattered, which that's what I look for when I'm gonna use like a quilt for cutting up so I don't feel bad about, you know, 
kind of destroying it, but I feel like that's kind of a lot for something that's not in the greatest condition. The last one I got here, I paid $15 for, so I'm gonna keep looking. I'm loving the swirly design on this, but I don't know if I want red. It's like, I feel like these would be really cute in my kitchen, but I don't know if I need red. She just found the matching ladles. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, see, I want it more in like this green. I wish she had it in this green, like this He's butter dish. Over there. Oh, he does have the bucket. I really like the green. I don't really need a butter dish, but if he had them in the other colors. He has it in this green bucket, but I don't really need a bucket. I wish he had the canisters in this green, because that's so good. There is so much turquoise jewelry here. I feel like if you need turquoise jewelry, Nashville is such a good place for it. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything that I'm like really wanting though today. So today's video is actually sponsored by Squarespace and you guys have heard me talk about them many times. I'm really excited to continue my partnership with them because I absolutely love their platform. It was super easy to set up my Squarespace website. I just picked one of their preset templates they had and then I completely customized it to kind of fit my needs and then I was able to easily transfer my domain name over. If you didn't have a domain you can also buy that directly from Squarespace so they make it super streamlined if you want to start your website. I've also been loving that all of their websites are mobile optimized, so I'm easily able to change or update anything on my website as well as view other Squarespace websites directly from my phone. So if you're ready to create your Squarespace website, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash tailormade style to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, mismatch vintage. She looks like she has a ton of good stuff. Jess is such a vintage extraordinaire. Like, <laughs> you love vintage so much. You're just the best person to go to a vintage store with. So many good funky prints. Isn't that adorable? I feel like this would be so hot, though. It's so thick. That's really cute. Do you like this? Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> like, I feel like it would be really cute with some, like, shorts in the summer. Yeah, like with a little hat or something, like a longer short. I feel like this is something Legally Blonde, which, like she would have worn. It's so fun. Oh, it's definitely one of made by the Women's Union. Yes. Yeah, that's so fun. I really like these Relax Fit Levi's, and they are a size 30, so I feel like they would fit. I might like try to sneak these on over my shorts or something, because I really like them. They're a five, they're like a 550 short, which I don't think I've ever seen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to try these on. Those are cute too. I'm definitely in the uh, buying spirit when it comes to good jeans. That's cool, oh my gosh. I feel like you're gonna like host a Christmas party in that outfit. I don't know if this dress would fit me. It might be a little bit big, but I love it. I love the pattern of it, it's so cute. ready for a vacation with this shirt I don't know I like it but I also the fabric isn't something I normally go for because it's really thick I feel like I'm already getting caught in it I think I'm gonna say no to this one I love it but yeah it's gonna be way too hot so I just tried to squeeze these on over my shorts it was an adventure I feel like they're gonna be too low rise like I want something that's a little bit of a higher rise so I think I'm gonna leave these behind and I also I didn't try on these shorts but I did my little neck trick, and I feel like the waist is gonna be a little too tight for what the style I want is. I want them to be really relaxed, and I feel like they're gonna be more of like a tight fit, so 
I think I'm gonna leave these behind too. I don't know. Today's just, I'm being picky today. So I did just find this gorgeous pistachio green dress. This is just all of my summer vibes in one dress and it fits me perfectly. It has like a sheer crochet panel here, which I like because it almost looks like it's like a two piece. You know what I mean? But I really like it. I feel like it fits really really well it's in pretty good condition for being an old vintage dress so i think i'm gonna pick this one up okay i love this one too it's like this blue ditzy floral with a smocked top i might have to try it on i feel like it's gonna be really small i mean obviously this stretches out but i don't know i want to try it on it's really cute all right so i have my shorts on under this but i don't know guys i'm not sure if i look like five years old in it i kind of feel like i do yeah i do I paid $30 for the dress, which I feel like is a good deal for that. Those online go for over $100, I'd say. The coloring was a little off in some places, so I might have to dye it at some point, but I don't know. I'm also like not opposed to just keeping it as is for a while. I feel like no one's gonna notice. Who's gonna know? No one's gonna know. Well, it was the first day back at the flea market. I think some people are still not here yet. I don't know. Because we basically went through everything in an hour. I'm guessing people just didn't have time to like gather their belongings to post up. So there's not as many, you know, vendors as there was before, which is kind of a bummer because last time we were here, I mean, we were here for like three or four hours. We might go thrifting now. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. And then tacos. Ooh, yes, thrifting and tacos. Margaritas. And margaritas. <laughs> All right, that was a short one and a half hour trip to the flea market. Um, you know, that's unpredictable. First day back, you get what you get. I'm excited about my dress, and now Jess and I are going to go to the Goodwill bins, which I haven't been to in so long. We're gonna do some digging, hopefully find some really good deals there. They're a little bit weird about filming, so I don't know how much I'll be able to film in there, but I'll definitely film as much as I can for you guys. Um, um, and definitely share everything that I find and style them up. So let's head on over to the Goodwill bins now and then I think we're gonna get some margaritas. It's 9 a.m. and I'm thinking about margaritas, so that's where I'm at right now. Jess just found this little cardigan, which is really cute, so cozy. I like it. Look, it's, and everything is paid by the pound, right? Yes very random but I just found this pillow that I really like I bought this new chair for our house and I feel like this will go perfectly on this red chair I got so I'm gonna get it that's all that I found so far it's very difficult to go through all of these <laughs> look at this little vintage bag I just found I like that it has a long strap on it I really like it I think I'm gonna get this too Somebody please tell me why they put a high top and a low top together. <laughs> Jess also just found this like 80s or 90s sweater. I love it. I love all the pastels. Definitely not sweater weather right now, but I think it'll be really cute come like next spring when it gets a little cooler out. I like it. So Jess and I are doing a little weeding of our things. I honestly didn't find too much, but I'm gonna get this pillow. I really love the shape of it. And I'll just like give it a good wash and everything when I get home. I'm going to get this cute little vintage purse. And then I am gonna get the pastel sweater here. All right, Jess is gonna give us her final haul. You spent like $4.50, right? Yes. Yes. I found this cute little bathing suit for my friend. Low back. Love that. Um, you know, because I love leopard. She found um, those free people free bell people. bottoms. Bell bottoms. <laughs> I know it's probably so hard to hold They're everything. They're huge. They're so wide they at the are. bottom. They're and gonna then, look amazing on you. <laughs> Thank you. And then this amazing sweater, probably 70s sweater. It is so big. I love the huge sleeves. Yeah, I love the sleeves on it. Um, really cute. Obviously that's for fall. And then I found a crimper. Uh, Conair, it's I don't think it's ever been used. So just I'll I saw it down clean it down. We'll we have no shame No, the only thing I pretty much don't thrift are like underwear. <laughs> we posted <laughs> underwear <laughs> All right, I think we're done. We really haven't found much today This kind of gets me excited though to move to st. Louis because maybe that means just the thrifting is gonna be way better I feel like the thrifting scene in Nashville is definitely at least over the past year kind of Gone downhill like it's just been a lot more picked over than it has in years past which is such a bummer 
I think there's a lot of good stuff to find. It's just a lot of people are finding it. So we are gonna go and get probably some food and maybe some drinks. We'll see you at lunch. Bye, Jess! Have fun in St. Louis! Thank you! So we are back from the flea market and Goodwill and all the other stops we made and guys, I just realized that this is the last time I'm going to be filming in this room for you guys. We move in three days, which is insane. My room is no longer pink, which is very sad, but I'm also really, really, really excited for like the new home decor and videos I have planned for our new place. But anyways, back to the haul. I'm gonna show you the pieces I picked up. Don't mind that everything is just everywhere and my mirror is inside my closet right now. We're moving and it's complete madness. We're working with the lighting situation that we have, which is my mirror inside of a closet. But this is the first piece that I picked up from the Nashville Flea Market. It was the only piece that I picked up, but I really, really like it. I love the crocheted details here that has like a little bit of skin and this gorgeous pistachio color. It really is super flattering and fits me in all of the right places. I paired it with my little kitten heels. I also think it could look really good with a more casual shoe too. And then I just kept my little brown polka dot headscarf because I feel like it kind of goes along with that like cottagecore vibe. Even though I didn't find a ton at the flea market, I was very happy with this find. So this little polo sweater I picked up at the Goodwill bins. I love anything pastel and colorful and I definitely needed to modernize it a bit. So I paired it with these wide leg trousers that I picked up at Buffalo Exchange recently. I really love that this is a polo sweater. I don't find a ton of these like 80s, 90s sweaters in a polo cut and polo shirts, dresses, sweaters, are having a really big moment right now so I feel like that aspect of it kind of helps modernize it a little bit. I kept the same kitten heels with this because I felt like it just kind of elevated the whole look a little bit. This is a good find and honestly I spent like four dollars at the Goodwill bin so you can't go wrong with that. I also forgot that I found this little bag at the bin so I added that to this outfit and I also feel like it kind of helped modernize the rest of it. I think this is going to be a really good summer bag. Would also look really cute with the dress I got so I I think this is just gonna be like a good little summer staple. But I also picked up this leopard print round pillow. It has a tassel on both sides and I just stuck it in this new chair I got for our new place. So I'm gonna give it a wash and it will be as good as new. All right, I hope you guys liked this video. My last video in Nashville as a Nashville resident. I will see you guys in St. Louis very soon. Please comment, like, subscribe. I've now kind of changed my posting days to Sunday. So I'll still be posting weekly videos once we get in the hang of our kind of new groove in St. Louis, but I still plan on posting weekly videos just on Sundays now. So please subscribe if you want to see a weekly video. You can also follow me over on Instagram at TaylorMadeStyle for more thrifty content. And until next time, this is the last time in this room, I will see you guys in our new home. Bye. I love you.